Control director in Lawrence County says he's turning things around after only a month on the job. WAFA 48's Aria Ponce caught up with Anthony Wilbanks about the work he's done and his plans for the future. Before Anthony Wilbanks was put in as the animal control director here in Lawrence County, the community members say they had a lot of concerns with the shelter. They were rarely open. They didn't operate under normal hours and no one really answered the phone here. Not to mention there was no adoption program in place. Now, after just one month with Wilbanks at the helm, he has Wi-Fi in the building. All the dogs and cats are up for adoption. The building's open to the public and he goes out on calls himself. But I want the community to know that I'm here. I'm involved. Wilbanks says he really owes everything to the community, the residents, the sheriff's office, the volunteers, and the local government. He's been great. They've been doing donations. We've got several people that come by every day to see what we need. They've been fabulous. Community supported us so much. We've had people come by thanking us for what we're doing now. It makes a big difference. Wilbanks was hired as part of an effort by the county commission to improve animal control in Lawrence County following the death of Willard Norton. He was attacked and killed in his own yard by neighbor's dogs. Commissioners also adopted a law requiring pet owners to keep their animals in their yards. Wilbanks says so far he's only had to write one citation related to that law. He says there's more work to do though. Well, we want to get our adoption rates up. We want to make sure that the public knows that the gates are always open. They come here. We want to do some events so the public can come here and, and their kids can have a good time while looking at dogs. So we're just hoping to make it an all around better place. Will Banks says it's like any other shelter. They're always looking for extra donations such as food, litter, and some extra hands from volunteers. Reporting in Moulton, Aria Ponce, 48 on your side.